radical. Now, I haven't played a baseball game in years. I think that's mostly because I've had Xbox consoles. And baseball has been exclusive to the Sony PlayStation. Like, think about that for a second. We know about EA's exclusivity on football, but I always thought it was kind of weird how a console had exclusivity on baseball or football or basketball. Just seems wrong, doesn't it? Just seems wrong for a sport to be specific to one console. Well, MLB The Show 21 comes out in less than a week, and it's going to be on, these are the consoles, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox One, the Series X, and the Series S. Yeah, you can buy it for those platforms. Not only that, it's going to be on Game Pass. I think this is a historic first. This is a a sports game releasing day one. I think it actually is the first sports game that's ever released day one on Game Pass, which is a subscription service. Now, what does that mean? You know, you don't own the game. It is streaming, right? You don't own the game. But it got me thinking a lot about, you know, what game ownership means. And, you know, years ago, I might have a different feeling on it as I do now. Because years ago, I used to speak up and speak out that owning your game was more important than anything in the world. But there's a limitation of time. And I've found that to be the case, that I just don't have a ton of time. I think if you're being honest, a lot of you being honest, you probably don't have the time to play all the games that you buy. So I'm looking at this perspective here of Game Pass being like, you know, 10, 15 bucks a month and MLB The Show being 60 to $70. Okay. Now, granted, like I said, you're not going to own the game, but if you're on Game Pass and you're paying 10 to $15 a month, then you're playing, you have access, if you want to, to play over 100 games of varying quality, of course, but over 100 games. And MLB The Show being on a service like that, it would be interesting to see, because this is a Sony exclusive, a historically exclusive Sony title. So I'd be interested to see what percentage of people play this game actually on Game Pass versus, you know, the platforms or buying the hard copies. Now, one final note of interest here is Sony is response to this. They came out with a statement. They said, we have had this conversation before. We're not going to go down the road of putting new releases into a subscription model. These games cost many millions of dollars, well over a hundred million to develop. We just don't see that as sustainable. You know what I would say? I would say, you know, that's a fair statement. You know, you you put the money in to develop these games and you want to get the maximum revenue, right? The thing is, from a consumer standpoint, if a consumer is looking at the exclusives on the end of one console and saying, you know what, I can get Halo Infinite day one on Game Pass. I can get the new Gears, the new Forzas, you know, all these new games that are exclusive to Microsoft day one when they release. Yet on this other competing console, if I want to get a God of War, you know, or uh, a Ratchet and Clank or something like that, if I want to get these games, well, it's going to cost more than $10 a month. Mm -hmm. So I would say on one side, Microsoft, they're doing great with Game Pass. It's one of the bright points of that brand. And they're really hammering it home to people. You know what? You can get our console, give us just a fraction of money each month, and then get a tremendous value in return. And on the other side, you have a defense of, well, we're not going to go down that road, even though that road is a really nice road to go down. That's a nice road to drive down on. I don't think hardly anybody has really had a lot of negative things to say about Game Pass. So we will see if Sony actually holds to that, because if Microsoft and Game Pass keeps being as popular as it's becoming, then, yeah, Sony might actually have a change of heart, especially now that it seems like Sony exclusives might be uh, coming to Game Pass. I don't know. Leave your thoughts on this in the comment section down below.